Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to dive deeper into why dot products work and what, what are the mathematics behind it. Okay. So over here, we left off um, at this part. So summary of the raw attention scores when the query vector is river. So when we're looking at the word river or when the model is looking at the specific word river, it's going to know what to focus on. Okay. And you know, it has a high attention score with itself because, you know, the model has to retain information about the current word it's looking at, which is itself and its river. So it has to know what river is. So it has to focus on that. Right. So that's why it has the highest attention score with itself. But the second highest attention score is with bank and the third highest attention score is with flooded which means our model is doing a great job because it knows that, you know, when, when we're looking at the query vector of river, then it should be focusing on bank and flooded, which is going to give it context. Okay. And before we continue, I just want to make sure that you guys understand what's happening. So right now we're looking at the attention scores when the query vector belongs to river. Okay. So that means when the model is looking at this specific word river, it's going to know how much focus it should put on each word. Now, once this is done, you know, the model is going to have to look at the query vector of every other word in the sentence, right? And compare it with the key vectors to get attention scores. So for example, once we're done with the query vector of river, then the model would go on and, you know, look at, for example, the query vector of was and it would multiply it with the key vector of CLS and that would give it an attention score between was and the CLS token. Then it would look at the query vector of was and multiply it with the key vector of the and that would also give it an attention score as to how much focus the word was should put on the word the. Then it would look at the query vector of was multiply it with the key vector of bank. And that also gives an attention score and it tells the model how much uh, it should focus on the word bank when it's looking at the current word was. Okay. So I hope that makes sense that right now we're only doing it for river. So we're only calculating the attention scores when the query vector is a river, but a model in real life, you know, it looks at all the attention scores, not just when the query vector belongs to river, but then it does it for when the query vector is was, when the query vector is the, so it gets a bunch of different uh, attention scores for each separate word. Okay. So, you know, it needs to know what other words it should focus on when CLS is the query vector. It needs to know what other words the model should focus on when the is the query vector. It needs to know what other words it has to focus on when bank is the query vector. Okay. And so on. But right now our example is looking at the query vector of river. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. And that's why we have this summary over here when the query vector is river. So when the model is looking at this word, it's going to know how much to concentrate on other words. And now why does dot product work? And I'm going to switch to a different document. And before we look at this document, I do want to look at one of my LinkedIn posts. As I mentioned, uh, I create educational content on LinkedIn as well and post. So I thought it would be good to, to share this post. So I'm going to read it and then we're going to come back to the main points of it. Okay. So ever wondered how large language models determine the relevance of one word to another and these scores dictate how much focus one word should receive in relation to another. And they're calculated using dot products. But why use dot products? Simply put, dot products measure the similarity between two vectors. A high score means the vectors or words are similar, while a low score indicates they are not. The dot product between two vectors measures how aligned they are. If the vectors point in the same direction, the dot product is high. In our context, this means the words show a high correlation. So imagine you're analyzing the sentence, the cat sat on the mat. 
When the model processes the word cat, it calculates the attention score with every other word. And the dot product might reveal a high similarity between cat and sat or mat, suggesting these words are closely related in this context. Conversely, the score between cat and the would be lower, indicating less relevance. So when we do dot products and we get a high number, that means the vectors are aligned, okay? So over here, it measures how aligned they are. And if they point in the same direction, the dot product is high, which means the words have a high correlation, which means that the words are relevant. So let's come back over here. Now, we're gonna be visualizing vectors and their attention scores. So let's do this example. Did I misspell example? Yes, I did. Sorry, one second. <clears throat> example. Example of looking at the query vector of river with the key vector of the words bank, flooded, and CLS. And now these numbers are made up numbers, okay? So they're not from the previous document that we've been looking at so far, okay? So for now, just ignore the previous document that we've been looking at and just think of it this way. This A over here is always one, two, as you can see, one, two, one, two. And that means that's the query vector for river. Because remember, when you look at the relevance of one word to other words, the query vector doesn't change. So this one, two, one, two, one, two is the query vector of river. Now, this B value of two, four over here belongs to bank. This B value of two, three belongs to flooded. And this B value, this negative two, one, belongs to the CLS token, okay? So now I just picked three random examples from the sentence. Obviously, with a real model, it would you know, look at all the key vectors, not just bank, flooded, and CLS, but it would look at it for CLS, the bank of the river was flooded, and the separator token, okay? But right now, for simplicity, we're just looking at these uh, three words, okay? So as you can see, these are aligned vectors. Because if you multiply the A1 vector with two, you actually get the same numbers, two and four, which means that the vectors point in the same direction, but you know they don't have the same magnitude. And you'll see the visualization later on, so you'll understand it, okay? But when you multiply these two together, you're gonna get a high dot product. So let's come over here. Over here to the numerical calculations using dot product. For aligned vectors, so this means we're looking at the query vector of river and the key vector of bank, okay? And you just do the dot product and it gives you a score of 10, okay? Which is a high score. Now, we have the sort of aligned vectors, okay? We're looking at the query vector of river with the key vector of flooded, okay? And when, you know, you can see that they're kind of aligned because both are positive you know, both are increasing. So when you do the matrix multiplication for the sort of aligned vectors, which means we're multiplying the query vector of river with the key vector of flooded, you get this score. You do the dot product and you get eight, which is still a high dot product. It's not as high as 10, but it's still high. Now, this is the not aligned vector. This is the query vector for the word river, and this is the key vector, negative two, one, for the CLS token, okay? And as you can see, these are not aligned vectors because one has positive, the other has negative numbers. So when you do the dot product multiplication, you get zero. So as you can see, that's a low dot product, which means it's not relevant for the word. So when you look at it, and it's logical from the sentence, when the query vector is river, in this case, the model for this specific sentence in this example is gonna put most of its focus on the word bank, it's gonna put some focus on the word flooded, and it's gonna put a little focus on CLS. And you can see these from the dot products, right? 10, eight, zero. Okay, so when the query vector is river and the key vector is bank, you get an attention score of 10. When the query vector is river and the key vector is flooded, 
you get an attention score of eight. And when the query vector is river and the key vector is CLS, you get this zero, which is a low attention score. So now let's visualize them. So as you can see for the aligned vectors, this, this is the first example. This is when we looked at the query vector of river with the key vector of bank. As you can see, they are perfectly aligned. You know, obviously, um, one of them has a greater magnitude, the query uh, vector. No, actually, sorry, no, the key vector is 2, 4, and the query vector is 1, 2. So the key vector has a greater magnitude, but they're pointing in the same direction, and they have a high dot product of 10. And remember, if they're pointing in the same direction, they are aligned. As you saw over here, um, if the vectors point in the same direction, the dot product is high. In our context, this means the words show a high correlation. Okay, so in this example, when the model is looking at the query vector of river with the key vector of the word bank, as you can see, they're perfectly aligned. So the dot product is high, which means the model is going to put a lot of focus on it. Now, the middle example is when the query vector is river and the key vector is for flooded. As you can see, they're, you know, not perfectly aligned, but they're still pretty close. So hence the, you know, this eight is still a, a large dot product, not as high as 10, but the model is still going to put a lot of focus on it, right? As you can see from the diagram. Now let's look at the not aligned vectors where the dot product is zero. Over here in the last example, that's when the query vector is belongs to river and the key vector belongs to, remember, the CLS token. So in this example, as you can see, they point in very different directions. And from the LinkedIn post that I showed you, we know that if they point in the same direction, that means they are highly relevant, they have a high dot product, so the attention is high. But when they point in different directions, as you can see over here, they are not relevant to each other, the dot product is going to be low, so the model is not going to put as much attention on it. So, you know, if we have a sentence, our original sentence, CLS, the bank of the river was flooded and the separator token, when we look at the query vector of river, obviously, um, with the CLS token, it's it's not explaining much, right? So that's that's why it has a low dot product because when when we're, when the model's looking at the word river, it's not going to be putting too much focus on the CLS token. It's going to be putting more focus on, for example, bank and flooded and you know those words. So I hope this helped you um, understand it a little more. And you know I tried to do the math for the dot product. You know I don't think the math is too hard. Um, and you know, even if you don't know how to do dot products, you can sort of figure it out from this. For example, from the first example, you know, we have a one, which is the one, two vector, and you have B one, which is the two, four vector. And you just, uh, multiply one, two together plus two times four, and then you add the final values. Okay. So I don't think it's that difficult. If you have, you know, questions, feel free to reach out. So in the next video, we're going to continue with dot products and we're going to get back to our original example, which is over here. Sorry. And we're going to look at some other interesting things. So I will see you in the next video.